All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today, we are going to show you how to install the Walton Chain uh, mining beta software. And this will be the same as installing it when the real software is released. So I'm going to take you through it, and we're going to see how it goes. It's super easy to set up. Uh, there's actually a new website release coming soon, so that's super exciting. Maybe it won't look like this when you go to install it yourself, but uh, for now, we're going to go up here and we're going to go over to announcements. And uh, in this announcements list, we have one right here about the wallet open testing. Uh, so this is where you want to go, and you're going to want to download this file, uh, the beta testing guide. It's just a Word document, and it will show you everything you need to do. Uh, so when we open up this Word document, uh, let me just make that a little bigger. Uh, it will tell you all about the beta test uh, and everything there is to do. So there's two options for making your wallet and testing your wallet. Uh, you can do a web wallet right here just by visiting this link but what we're going to do today is we're going to install the desktop wallet and miner you're going to want to control click and follow the link here to the walton chain github which will have the latest release 1.3.0 so we'll go ahead and grab the most recent one we'll take this and we'll download the zip file let's download right over here this button and it'll show up so I'm gonna open this when done. And if you have WinRAR like me, you'll have to exit out of this window because people actually <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna extract these files. You can put them anywhere you want just for the purpose of this video. I'll put them right in the downloads folder so they're easy to get. And there you go, it's opened up. So there's a whole bunch of files here you're going to want to scroll all the way down until you see the one that says Walton Wallet. It'll have the logo here. It'll be of type application. Uh, so go ahead and double click on that. And when you double click that Walton Wallet, this is the video. This is the page that will pop up. So to create a new wallet, you'll enter some password. Uh, I'll just make one for this video. And you hit create. And now you're going to have to save your key store file. Uh, if you don't know what a key store file is, uh, it's basically your uh, entrance, your key into your wallet. Uh, uh, we'll just make our key store right here for video. Uh, so we'll go ahead and save that. And then here you'll be given a public key for your account. So you'll probably want to copy that and paste it somewhere into like a Word document or just write it down in a paper wallet so you remember what the key is. Uh, and then once you've copied that down, you can close it out. And then to view your wallet, you're going to want to go to this tab here that says View Wallet. You can click Unlock It with Key Store. And that file that you just saved right here, you'll find that. Click Open. And then you'll enter whatever password you had chosen before, which I won't say out loud. And then you should see it opening up. And then what you've got now is your public key showing up right around here uh, and your balance. Uh, obviously, I just made this wallet, so there are no transactions in it. Uh, but that's how you unlock it. So now let's get to the good stuff. Uh, for mining Walton, you're going to go over to this tab and click mining. Now, your miner address will start with this default value, but what you're, wanna, what you're gonna wanna do is go into your settings and change your miner's public key and paste in the value of your wallet because you wanna make money for yourself, not for someone else, obviously. Uh, so we'll put in our own miner's public key and then you'll wanna choose how many threads you wanna run. Uh, in general, just put this number up to however many threads your comp computer CPU has. Uh, usually that means if you have a four core CPU like I do, you'll have eight threads. So you'll just go up here, go to eight. Uh, if you're gonna be use this, using this computer while you're mining, maybe you wanna put seven instead of eight so that you have one thread that's not being worked. I'll just set it to two for the purpose of this video. 
and we'll hit save. If you want to change your color to red, you could do that too, but that's that doesn't matter. But all you need to do is make sure you got your miners public key here and the number of threads you want to use. So we'll hit save there. Now my mining key should be updated. And if you hit this button here, it'll show you all the nodes you're connected to. Right now I'm connected to just one node, but you can connect to multiple at a time. And if there are more available, they will connect automatically. And once you're connected to at least one node, you can close this window and you can hit start mining. And then this bar will turn green and you're mining. Congratulations. Uh, now, you want to wait for a minute because you can see my hash rate still says zero, but that will quickly jump up. See, now it's already at 3,000. All right, so it looks like on my computer with two threads, uh, we're going to hit about 17,000 hash rate, which is pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to pause the mining for a second. But first, I want to show you, if you guys want to see what's going on in your computer, uh, we can go over to Task Manager, and you'll see I've got uh, Walton right here. Uh, using about 36% of my CPU, uh, which is all right. I haven't set it to use every thread, so that kind of makes sense that we're, we're not using the whole thing. Let's just move to this tab for a second. So we can see my CPU as we're running here at a 1700 hash rate. Uh, obviously I'm running an i7-4870HQ. Uh, for reference, that's a MacBook Pro from 2015. Uh, but if I stop mining, Right here, uh, you'll see that turned to red, and now my CPU usage has dropped back down to 20%. I think that popped up behind. All right. So let's try and add some threads. Maybe go to six mining threads. Uh, we'll save that. And now we'll hit this button again and see what happens. All right. We've spiked up to 100%. Uh, cool. That's, that's awesome. Uh, if you have 100%, that means your computer is doing the best that it can, so that's what you want. Obviously, uh, my numbers will be a little off right now while I'm recording because I'm also using OBS to record this broadcast. So if you're running a 2015 MacBook Pro and you say, well, he only got this number, but I'm getting the super high number. Is this dangerous for my computer? Don't worry about it. Um, but you can now see that Walton is using a much higher CPU percentage uh, and my performance is through the roof and on the right here you can see that instead of being at 17,000 hash rate we're now above 20, 21,000 and climbing but you can see it jumps up after we've changed the number of threads right here in the settings and uh, we'll double check that your public key is the public key of your wallet and eventually when you hash a block It'll show up right here uh, in the Walton Chain wallet by View Wallet. And uh, that's all there is to it, guys and girls. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any comments, this is my first uh, YouTube video, uh, my first tutorial. So I'm open to comments, uh, questions, uh, anything that you think you want to say, put it down there. And uh, that is all, folks.